orthopedic spine surgeons here at uh, Ortho Carolina. I specialize in cervical spine um, problems, uh, you know, from the um, from the head down to the shoulders. It's kind of been my specialty. I also do a lot of lumbar degenerative problems, disc herniations, and spinal stenosis. You know, one of the most important things that we do is the educational component to, to let the patients know about their condition, you know, what the uh, natural history of their condition is. A lot of people aren't aware that most spinal conditions improve with time. So to help them understand what's going on with their body and to understand the, you know, the repercussions and what brought it on and what can, what can make it better. My nurse is Lisa Hughes and Lisa and I have been together for 18 of my 25 years. So we kind of go way back and you talk about somebody knowing knowing you and your practice and knowing where what your answer is going to be before <laughs> the questions posed that that's Lisa and myself. What I like best about working with Dr. Darden um, is he loves to teach. He's very compassionate with the patients and that's probably why I went into the nursing and um, being with him for 18 years we have just developed that rapport a lot of trust between us. We know how to how to take care of the patients, how to deal with the patients, even the hard ones. I knew that I had neck pain for quite a few years before my disc herniated, but I turned 50 in April and in June I experienced the worst pain I had ever had. I never knew pain like that existed. So I called Dr. Darden. He got me in as quick as possible. He saw that I was herniated and I was having a lot of nerve issues. I think the, the biggest thing to know that um, the vast majority of, of these conditions can be treated non-operatively. So just because you're having the problem doesn't mean you're going to end up having to have surgery. But saying that you know, there are a lot of there have been a lot of advances with the surgery. The surgery is kinder and gentler, and um, it's a lot more predictable. And if that's the path that eventually you have to take, it's not the end of the world, and the vast majority of people improve. After having it. I remember before the surgery I said to Dr. Darden because I couldn't lift anything with my arms and I didn't know that that existed and I said I just I just want to one day hold my grandchildren and he looked right at me and he said I can fix that for you I can make that happen for you. I think the most rewarding part of this career is seeing is seeing patients come in at their worst and, and, and leaving close to their best it's it's it's, it's rewarding to, to see people improve and get back to the things in life that are important to them.